It's fine, Smith. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much, uh, <clears throat> Julius. I just say thank you to the OKF and family. Uh, as usual, this is my terrain. And, so. and, and I understand this is also live on the Lima. Uh, that's a library news agency, KMTV, and who else? Uh, I think so far so good. Yeah, okay. Now, um, um, let's go straight into your district. I have seen you, I, I've, I've seen some movements, some, uh, a whole lot of movements in your district. What is happening? Uh, we just elected the district. Uh, technically, you know, there have been some concerns about uh, our physical presence in some areas. So, listening to the plea of our people and doing what we can do best, what we've been doing. I just don't just step over our game. What do I mean by that? Uh, we are the test of the public knowing exactly what we have been doing and what we are doing. But there have always been this tendency, you know, we have the kind of tendency I have, and I don't want to say we. You know, sometimes we give out. We don't talk about that. We just keep it quiet. People say you do nothing. Uh, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. So we say, okay, this time we get the community involved. Then the usual uh, modus operandi. So we change the flavor. And I am making some great impacts, ranging from providing scholarship, I providing finances, not loan, I don't want to say loan, to some disadvantaged who want to get involved into petty businesses, by renovation and rehabilitation and engage in intellectual centers, having more frequent engagement and meetings with our people. So we're doing much, we're doing extremely much. Is it a sign that uh, there's a final confirmation that you are going to run in 2023? With because the, you have always been called, you, you have always been called over whether you run or not. Just with uh, subsequent January and February, I will sit right uh, here in your studio. And would make that a uh, public statement. Well, well so, it, it, if it were to be no, you you have just said it. The, 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 the fact that you want to wait for a particular time to announce it is all, all is already indicative that you're going to run. Every politician, every politician has his own strategy. But I, the issue is there will be no strategy if you if everywhere intent on saying no. As a journalist, you can assume. But I'm telling you what I would do by my plan of action. If you if you if you approach woman and the woman doesn't want you, she will she, she she will automatically say no. But if if there are some intentions of saying yes, she will delay. So no, no if possible, if possible, so she then, there will be no after. If, if possible, she gets out okay, here the answer, but she may discover that maybe you're not just a good man. It's not the guy she was thinking about. So she want to give you the benefit of the doubt. So she just say no. Others, I, I was I was in a gathering and, and I was just listening to people talking and say. Uh, I got you wrong. You were wrong. He went to test the water. He kept my test. He said, "You're not. You're not in our So he jumped by the district. Head. How? How, how <laughs> do you respond to such people? Do, do, we, do we always talk about representative grade? I've consistently said in Grand Cape Town County that I've developed no uh, legislative interest uh, in Grand Cape Town County. What I'm doing in Cape Town and currently doing. I this all of my volition, my quest, I, to give back to my country, to help my people. And I'm excited, in fact, that uh, Raspberry Rule, uh, Pittman will soon start, which is very important uh, to boom up the sector of tourism that is significant for us. And I want to see things that will happen in Grand Cape, my country, that, for example, that have never happened, like the rule Pittman, for example, uh, like electrification uh, for a very long time. That's our country of origin. And Kipman has produced some of the best in the history of the country. The last administration, you have like five, I think five Kipman team who were minister proper under the past administration, under President Sally's administration. Mm. I know the Bamagira Highway was being paved and Rouse was not being paved. So uh, the country itself since uh, 1924 up to now, I think it's about time. And to convince our people. Uh, to give us back uh, the presidency and other position is to give them what they have requested of us. And Kipman voted this government 
overwhelming it both first and second round. So I believe that uh, what we told our people, uh, those rewards are coming to our people in Grand Cayman County when we were campaigning because our campaign is different. Let's go back to your district. What, what, which specific things have you been doing? I, I mean, in terms of the district before we go to Capitol Hill. We've done a lot of things. A lot of things uh, for the district uh, since uh, 2012. You know, some of the things we've not said it. We have 23 communities in district. It used to be 22. But I, I another, another community got created, so that's 23. Of the 23 community, uh, since I became lawmaker, nothing less than 17 of those 23 communities, nothing less than 17, if it is a latrine or a step, we've done some development in all of them. The ones that we have some challenges. What are, what are the remarkable ones that you, that even okay. if you just Let jump me, from sleep and someone say, what have you done here as a lawmaker? Let me just give uh, Solomon, for example, hmm. right in your backyard. I'll put the point out to that. We purchased the land and constructed the school. The purchase of the land, the construction of the school, or nothing less than thirty thousand dollars. Okay, and uh, I is on a day. Now we put it on a, It's not. I'm not talking about a Carol's Grade personal school. Mm. I'm talking about a land we purchased in the name of the community and built the school in the name of the community in and operated by them. Mm. Yeah. Right here, you can you can go right there. And in fact, all the classroom initially, that's where I, I have some dissatisfaction. I provided television, nothing less than 50 inch television, with cable TV. You know, some of the kids will learn visually. And today, we don't have them there. I feel so sad about that. It, it's a strong, it saddens me to a good extent. And I, just the supplementary budget for the MCSS schools, that I mean the more consolidated school system, I, the recent supplementary budget will pass about almost a month now. I mean, almost two weeks ago, I we placed five hundred thousand United States dollars mm. for MCSS schools, and those schools are in most of the schools. Some of the schools numbers are in the top mayor, the more real demonstration elementary school that I went to, like or uh, G W Gibson, uh, Loma Quarter Community School, etc. Mm. I those and, and in fact the MCSS headquarters is in my electoral district. So we just provided 500,000 United States dollars right, to them. In the current budget, uh, we have a uh, little over 30 million dollars for them. And we'll get to the budget, I will tell you what some of the things mm -hmm, sure. that would benefit in my industry. So I, we've been visiting communities. We went to Slewe. We went to Sonywe. You know, we have two uh, health centers in our district. I'm not talking about clinics, but health centers. Mm. We have the Sony Way Health Center and we have the Slowly Health Center. We've consistently had them uh, with medical materials. And we just did see uh, with some medical materials, including beds for delivery, for example, or other essential materials that you can use. And we also did see uh, for the ACFI clinic that is in the Busha Quarters community. Mm. We also went in there and they were very excited, especially the ACFI. Because it's not a strange thing that we've been doing for both Solingwen and Slewe Health Centers. In fact, we renovated and did the women's center in Slewe. And Judas, you won't believe it. It, it beats my imagination. What? That we place intense sewing machines to help empower the ladies in Slewe. And we put uh, a DSTV into that place. Today, it's not a counter for. Because we turn it over to the women of the community the group of women will control that place so i uh that place or uh, the mission the, the, the equipments were stolen okay so we've been doing well so if you go community to community i will tell you we started the we we started helping the guys in raspberry valley where i grew up uh for some cleaning or program and i want to tell the president thank you i uh, since 1991 not one or not two uh, Raspberry Valley community have not been able to benefit from electrification. And I can tell you, both Holiday and Opine, that under this administration, Raspberry Valley will be lighted. Mm. Because, yeah, the, 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 the wires, everything, uh, the testing of electrification is ongoing. So uh, that is a major victory, extremely a major victory for us. Downtown Street, we constructed a modern light train, the same thing, maintenance. Because you know most of the things you do, Judas, you turn them over to 
by the community dwellers to maintain it. So maintenance has been uh, a very big challenge. But yeah, we've done much. Okay. We've done much. But my cardinal responsibility is mm. to make law. And so That's coming to the law area, one of the one of the so, key instruments, the dual citizenship bill, that you that you champion or sponsor. What is the right word to use? No, sponsor. Okay. Okay. Actually, this bill has a history. There's a historicity of this bill. I uh, remember uh, Councillor Teach, Teach, mm -hmm. uh, who went to the Library Supreme Court and challenged the issue of I, the deprivation of citizenship to Liberians. I know. I think it started 2009 on the petitioner. So again, Councillor Vanishani in the Liberian Senate. I originated a bill also, I similarly looking at the alien naturalization law of our country. So this particular bill, uh, our friends in the United States of America, uh, Liberians on dual citizenship, uh, Wetty and West of the people have been working on it. Uh, locally, a lot of persons have been supporting and championing the cause. So this is not an Akaris great personal bill. Um, I want to give credit to people who also are part of the progenitor of this debate. You remember in 2018, a uh, 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 deputy speaker from the mm -hmm. and I submitted the bill on dual citizenship for a subsequent referendum. Prior to that, the president had, in, uh, had invited members of uh, the, the, the legislature, that is both the Senate and the House of Representatives, so on collected effort, they went to the referendum Unfortunately, they got defeated. So technically, this bill is a step to dual citizenship in its totality by amending the Liberian Constitution subsequently in 2023. This bill looks at the alien naturalization law. And the cross of the bill is this, uh, Julius. It's about once you are a Liberian citizen, that citizenship cannot be taken away from you. Okay. Let me repeat. Actually, once you are a, let me repeat, a Liberian citizen, that citizenship can never be taken away from you. Assuming that even if you took another country nationality and you did not go, you did not come to Liberia in a court of competent jurisdiction to renounce your citizenship, okay, mm. if you didn't do that, Liberia still own you. Like the great United States of America, for example, like Nigeria, for example. Once you are a Nigerian citizen, you are a Nigerian citizen. You either go to the consulate office where you reside in another country and denounce that citizenship of Nigeria, or you denounce that citizenship in a competent jurisdiction in Nigeria. So Why is this significant? Why is so it important? The significance of this is that everyone feel proud of a country. Of origin, for example, the significance of this is that it will contribute towards the economic growth of our country. Liberia is one of the few countries in West Africa that doesn't recognize dual citizenship. Several dogs, Africa's dogs, Nigeria dogs, Ghana dogs. You can go on and on and name those countries. The the, the next thing here is that Judas. I want to. I just want to. I don't want to separate the devil out okay. mm. I see Liberian saying that maybe you want a political job, they say you're not Liberian. You understand? Mm. This political this struggle for power has placed some of our brothers at the disadvantage, some of our most professional. How do we attract professionals into our home? How do we attract people who want to do businesses, Liberians, who want to do businesses but are seen as foreigner and don't have certain rights and privileges? How do we attract them? I give you an example. The national team of Liberia, I could to set that example, the soccer team, we had an argument before. And we got young Liberians who play, who may have all country nationality. Okay? Nobody said they're not Liberian. The whole country got up on the SKD, the ATS, or wheresoever they go, we got up, out on the stadium itself, or behind the television set. And we chatting. Alfonso Davis. For example, he's a Canadian, mm -hmm. a Liberian, Canadian. But when Biden is playing, everybody go to chair at Francois Davis. I gave him an example. Justin, uh, the girl who went America has talent, right? The entire Liberian voting for her. 
the entire Liberia. Mm -hmm. But once they attempt to get into the political setting of our country, you call them foreigner. So are you telling me? Are you telling me that another country that play Liberia can say, "Oh, Liberia using foreign uh, uh, players who are not Liberians"? We cannot contradict ourselves consistently in this country. We cannot consistently contradict ourselves. Mm -hmm. And in so doing, in so doing, I believe, and many believe, that your nationality is an inalienable right given to you. You don't have a choice to say, why go many of our men? You don't have a choice to say, why go many, for example, or gil men, or mano men, or crime men, or crew men, law men, etc. It's God who determine that nationality, that inalienable right, that God-given right. What we, what we are saying to our people is to take the rights away. When this country was in crisis, millions of dollars came from the diaspora to sustain us economically. But yet we call them foreigners, yet we call them aliens when they are Liberian. But, but, but are the circumstances but, uh, was, and conditions. Uh, uh, there was a momentous time when we call all our citizens uh embrace this the referendum you all were defeated hands down i think i think no no that's what i'm saying this is a step forward on dual citizenship in this totality this bill is saying in summary mm. that once you are a liberian even if you took another country nationality you still liberian it does not mean that Europe does recognize by the internationalization of dual citizenship the referendum will make that determination and i want to be blunt mm. i think one of the reasons for which Besides the opposition campaigning against the referendum saying, oh, maybe the CDC will take the credit. Also, the kind of restrictions that were being placed in the referendum. For example, you say, okay, we recognize dual nationality, but you can't be senator. Mm. You can't be representative. You can't hold a system minister job. You can't hold deputy minister job, etc. You understand? And, though, and it was a political time and a political scene. And some of the very people who, who preach against dual nationality or made our bill on it in the Senate, in my life, mm. the records are there. Mm. So you can see that pure politics, pure politics that killed the quest of the referendum. But this time, nothing less than 30 members of the House of Representatives, more were willing to sign somewhere now around, sign this bill and pass it. So it is now with the Senate. It is now with the Labyrinth Senate. I want to appeal to the Labyrinth Senate. Council of Vanish Sherman, who is the head on judiciary, the rest of the people who believe that citizenship cannot be taken away from you except you personally make that determination to a, a competent jurisdiction in Liberia at, uh, or at our consular office, whatsoever the round of war, to, to renounce that citizenship. Until you do that, you should remain on Liberia. Let me tell you one of the greatest advantages. Some people will come, maybe they got American passport, maybe they got British passport, but they come and take the job in the government. When they embezzle, or when they steal money, they run back to those countries. But this bill is saying that we get you a job because you are a Liberian. That citizenship, whether you took British nationality, whether you took American nationality, Liberia will try you and Britain cannot call for you. America cannot call for you. We, you are under our jurisdiction and we are trying you as a citizen of the Republic of Liberia. We don't recognize you being an American citizen. That's what we are saying. As far as Liberia is concerned, you are a Liberian citizen. O unless you yeah. renounce the citizenship. Unless, unless. That's the kind of in the document, the summary of the document. I will try to leave this with you. Okay, that's the summary. Unless. You come to the Republic of Liberia, you go to the court and denounce and renounce your Liberian citizenship. And or in a foreign country, what we have maybe an ambassador was you go and renounce that citizenship. Then it means you are not a Liberian, you are free to go. That's what it means. I think it's a mere deprivation, it's a pure political game that has been played. Because Judah always said, Judah, I how can you imagine Judas that you being here? You went to another country, maybe because of the circumstances of the war, or maybe greener pasture, etc., and you need a job. You have no option. You need certain education, you have no option. Will your mother, will you, will someone go tell your mom, say, do you know that American citizen in Liberia? I can convince that only in the interior. 
I can convince the women selling on the market table that send their children in abroad that come to them, that send money to them, to tell these people that their children are not Liberian. How do you convince them? Their law is discriminatory. Okay. It's internally discriminatory against the very Liberians. It's not, we're not saying women citizenship. You know, you want people here about citizenship, is you want me when they citizen. Mm -hmm. It's not a discussion we are having. We are saying all of our brothers who born of Liberian parents, who yeah, who abroad, whatsoever they are, no matter which country nationality they take, they remain Liberian. Okay. Yes, that's what we are saying. Let's and go. I want, I want all of us to join in this process, not just our, our brothers in diaspora, our mothers, our loved ones, our friends, to help make a case with the Liberian Senate, to concur on this major uh, landmark deal, which is very important. It's not about Akaros, like I said. It's for Liberia and it's not for me. And let me appreciate members of the House of Representatives that took nothing less than two weeks to pass this bill. Let me commend them. And I'm optimistic that the Liberian Senate will act according to it. I'm very optimistic about that. Okay, let's see how far optimism goes. Well, let's go into the budget. What are your areas of concern? Before we get to your areas of concern, there are two things here. The public beat on you all during the course of this year, from last year to this year, especially this year, on something called legislative engagement and public accessibility. I think last year was just uh, legislative engagement or something. But yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, three point six million is allotted for that in this budget. Also, there is uh, something as well called uh, uh, constituency visit. Uh, where nine hundred sixty thousand, where twenty one dollars is at, is allotted. Uh, these are two things that the public continues to frown on, but they're still in the budget. Okay, I, I will answer that question. And I will answer it courageously. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I do support it. Okay. We, one of the past administration, initially under this administration, <laughs> prior to this, we have what we call legislative projects. We didn't have this legislative engagement the legislative projects no more exists let me repeat mm. legislative projects no more exists so the way to to buttress national government efforts and to do some of the little things that you do into electoral district that's how can we coin the world legislative engagement and accessibility some people use that money to pay some school fees yeah, but, but some, there, there, is, there, is, there is something here for no, scholarship. No, 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 I can't even come in there. Mm -hmm. Some people use that money to do little projects, some more, some more areas, people do bridges there, some poor build clinics, hospitals. That should so, not be your word. Excuse me, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not, I repeat, mm -hmm. that should not be. There's a difference between the idealist school of thought and the realist school of thought. The idealist school is called thought is what ought to be. The idealist school of thought is what ought to be. The realist school of thought is what is. What is now? But but, now, but, 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 no, but what Jesus. is 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 brought into being by the individual who who could also make the decision to to go by the ide by by idealism. What what it should be? Let me tell you. So what, now you have no, an no, opportunity no, what, to what, make it what, what it should what, be. What ought to be is different from what is. A real politicians, pragmatic politicians, will tell you this around the world. These are theories we're discussing. We're not discussing Pharisee and imaginations. But the, the, so, the, 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 so, these are the very so times I'm saying that what, you... What is, what is, mm -hmm. when you leave on your judos, now we're going outside after the studio. Mm -hmm. And after here, yeah. we go outside. Someone will tell you that all our latrine is poor. National government has bigger issues to take care of. That's what we introduced what we call legislative projects by then. National government has bigger issues to take care of. They're not going into every community to go do a latrine. That is national government not going to do that. The national government is not going into every community to say, okay, you can't afford tuition, so we'll help, okay, and try to run some schools. National government cannot do some things. So I, I will say to you, we're all, we're all stupid. That I support it. I support the legislative engagement. Okay? When I was campaigning, I never told the population, like other people who say, I will reject what is legislated. You can put me on any media station around the world. I will tell you why. Sufficient justification for that. When we go on the when our mothers ask us that, look, I want to sell coal. 
and she looked deep into your face. When you go and you bring someone sick to your door mouth, and you have to rush that person to hospital, you think why? If you, if you were, if you as, as leaders were really serving the public, yeah, making, the making, 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 uh, ma ma maximum let, use let, of the, of the taxes and putting them Gina, into programs, Gina, into projects across this country, Gina, people wouldn't be coming no, to Gina, you. No, Juno, Juno, you struck a point, it would take time. I concede. But that's time. No, excuse me. What's that? No, no, excuse me. Mm -hmm. You, you, you can start when you reach a point. Okay. I concede by your strongest argument. I also have had that argument. Now, what ought to be that's the idea of school of thought? I concede to that. You get a very powerful argument, but can the budget support everything? Can what we generate realistically support everything? We cannot. I went to the executive management judges to be sure. I hope they can take a crew of journalists to walk through the executive management. Since the Israeli mansion was constructed, there were furnitures up to present the city time, even when you caught them fire. You can't see a single furniture. Who took it? That's the question. Well, there, there should be an investigation. No, I just saying to you, the, the walls were scraped. The mansion is not just being renovated. It's that being reconstructed in many areas. I hope, I was suggesting the Minister of State when we went to do some assessment. I said, this thing we need to show the public the picture before and the picture after. That play looked at, absolutely looked at, under the past administration. We don't want to shift blame. That's what we're taking responsibility to do. So I'm saying to you, there are many priority areas we have. So I concede with your strongest argument, I said that's the strongest argument, that we have to reach a level and call it a, a cut off point. But it cannot be automatically cut off in terms of helping people now. I agree with you. I agree with you. It, it's also painful to some people. When you work for your money on one end, you can't even carry so long because you don't even care for one room. I know some colleagues. If you just look at my budget for the money, and if you're not courageous to say this is why I will spend this money, and I will not do this, believe me, you want to go to my office today? Tomorrow I invite you to my office on Monday or Friday and say something for yourself. Okay? So I agree with you. The well, process, maybe, maybe, the process, maybe two, the process they... punch this country, destroy the fabric of the country. Today, Moravia is not even fully electrified. I am still debating for Bernard Scotta to be electrified. I'm still debating for other communities, for example, the Basel community in its totality to be electrified. We're still making those debates. We are still, the turban was looted under the past administration. It was no, it's sudden. I'm saying this to you. So sometimes when we come on and we speak with passion, people say, Oh, I carols. No, I'm not anti anyone. But can I justify it? What is placed in the budget for the legislature? Yes, I can do that. Can I defend it? Even in hell, I can defend it. And I have no regret and, and have no apology for any altercation that this statement must, must cause today. When my people want to go to school in Sweden, when and there's a school there and they cry on me to help a national government, can I help? I have to go in. Well, it, that, and, and in this case, it is still national government here. But yeah, we have it, so no problem. Okay. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so you know, then no, no debate. Now, you know, let's go to the budget. So, no, we, we, oh, you, yeah, it, you it, want it to ambush me today? It, it, it is the budget <laughs> that, we, that we are in. It is the budget that we are in. So, what are your priority areas of concern in this budget? Thank you very much. Uh, I know Jules. that you are in a budget expert, so I won't want to cover all of the it, technical is it details. Is a sheet? <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, mm -hmm. I, I will vote for the budget. I know we need to do some amendments in the budget. Mm -hmm. I know there must be some reappropriation in the budget. And I'll tell you why. For example, like I said, MCSS headquarters in my district. We want to see the MCS the school at a level. The last time I was appreciated the president when we went to top me high. Okay? And he passed media instruction. What can I do? How can we help? So if 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 if, if you look at the MCSS now, it's not less than three point eight now six million dollars for MCSS under this budget. Nothing less than let me repeat three point eight now six million dollars. Mm. 
1,500 teachers are to be included on the new pay on the on the new pay. 1,500 teachers are to be included. So one of the University of Liberia, the, the digitization, okay, the enrollment issue, for example, uh, renovating uh, the old era on Fenno campus, uh, Lux, Lux FM radio station, for example, all those things, those are some of the objectives. In fact, trying to beef up the capacity of uh, the medical school by adding more professionals to them. That is very important. Trying to ensure that at least we can send some professors out to go and advance and come back to help our people. The budget captures that honor education, which is very important. Now, I've been a champion of culture and tourism. I see culture and tourism in the budget is being captured by $1.5 million. $1.515 million United States dollars. This is a step forward for helping to boom the economy of our country. Do I support that? Yes, I support that. I see Sony Wing. Sony Wing Clinic is now being captured of nothing less than 20,000 United States dollars. It may not be much, but the crowd on me for renovation. Slavery Clinic, the crowd on me, Slavery Health Center, crowd on me for renovation. I'm fighting to see how we can help Slavery Health Center in the budget. Now that we have Sony Wing, Sony Wing, under the past administration, used to have almost nothing. The first money we gave, in 2021, there were like $5,000. I see the overturn is there, it shows that it went. So I'm going to ask the administration and the Ministry of Health what they already did with uh, the $5,000 by then. But now it's $20,000. From zero from the past administration now, we're discussing $20,000. $20,000 may not be a big money, but I have committed myself to them through my legislative engagement. I have committed myself to take cleanliness. Three health centers, in, I mean, two health centers and one clinic. The ACFI to renovate them and give them a standby generator. Similarly with Sony One Health Center, similarly with uh, our Slavery Health Center. Those are areas, clinics that we can help. I will do my best. The issue of rural rehabilitation in our district, for example, or uh, Jalastan Road, you know, it's a major link, detour link. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, the challenge there about the potholes and uh, the public work is trying. Even um, UN draft, for example, etc. Uh, we've been discussing the issue of slavery. We've been discussing the issue of the Johnson Street Rule. We stay in discussion, okay? Because if we should do the Johnson Street Rule and the slavery rule, not I'm not talking about extension of the slavery rule. I'm talking about doing what exists. It means that for the junior system to be correct, people will have to make sacrifices who build near the junior system. The community may also crash. So we need to negotiate with our people and talk to them. Similarly with Johnson Street Road, coming all the way to Raleigh Market and going to uh, 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 Clay Street Intersection, Clay and Johnson Street where I'm doing an intellectual center for our people. That's the oldest intellectual center in our district that we are constructing. Okay, maybe before December we'll be finished with that. So I am optimistic that in fact for the executive mansion renovation, what is in the budget, we need to increase it. I believe we should ask up some money, one or two million dollars, to speak on that place. I've never entered any mansion in West Africa that is as beautiful as the Israeli mansion of the Republic of Nabi. But okay. look, that place was properly built. That year alone, taking care of that place. So my argument will be very clear. Very clear. I will support the budget. Don't ask me what I will vote for the budget. I will vote for the budget. In okay. fact, as chairman of the Israeli, I'm championing the passage of the budget. It's just that, let me repeat. Mm. Certain things will have to be done. Okay. In terms things. of reappropriation, amending, shifting, etc., before we pass the budget. Okay. But I will hundred percent help in the process of leading the process to pass the budget. Let's 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 take some comments and calls. Zero triple seven seven hundred nine nine five. Zero triple five nine nine five nine nine five. Michael Zawi says Julius now Liberians know who are the real enemies of the state, the legislators. Honorable Graves' assertion clearly justifies why the local government act was killed alive. The functions we'll he's having to lawmakers are clear functions. Local government at district chiefdom, uh, clan, and Zuma levels in a real country, unlike Liberia. This is sad. Uh, Emmanuel Peter says our politicians are not taking into consideration the social, political, and economic impacts of dual citizenship. They are concerned with the political capital that is associated with it. 
dual citizenship without restrictions are even to the poor citizens of the country. It is the first step to administrative corruption and inequalities in society, <laughs> wherein this world can an individual naturalize in a country without denouncing his country of origin. Uh, dual citizenship is not the solution to our problems, but the problems themselves. There are many cases in Liberia that have proven it as a problem. Dual citizenship should come with restrictions, like the one in 2020 election and put a forward by President Ria. The American government would never allow for an American with Russian citizenship to be a defense minister. Okay. Uh, uh, Musa Kida says, please tell your guests uh, what is his view on the suggestion regarding a commission on diaspora. This commission can track and work with diaspora libraries to incorporate them in businesses and investments as well. Okay. Uh, let's see who else has a comment here. We will take a few calls. Um, uh, can you kindly ask Honorable, how do they value or arrive at these projects cost? They are always calling huge figures for every little project they undertake. Okay, welcome. Let's hear you. What's your name? Bless. Bless. What's going on with it? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I want to tell you all of us, thank you for it. I still want to stand in. But he said that this, I need support of He said that this, and we're in readiness. Uh, but did he tell you that he, he has turned him? But the, 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 the man is always dodging whether he will, he will contest 2023 or, or not. The man is scared. The man is scared to say. The man, the man, the man is our general. Okay. We need to, need to for the for okay, small soldier. Okay. Okay, small, so, so, small soldier. You remember or are you, are you here, Amit? I was, I was saying, are, are you are you are you people rebels or are we are army? <laughs> we are the red army. We are the red army. The red army. We are the red army. Uh, okay, see. Let me play all your water. Welcome. Let's 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 hear. What's your name? Yeah, no, uh, I'm good. I'm good. Mm. Mm. Okay, thanks so kindly. Let's see who's right here. Welcome. Good afternoon. This is Manus Kona from Team Core. Go ahead. Let's hear you. Uh, uh, good afternoon, Adelo. Wait. Yeah, dude, I'll be uh, fast with you. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fast, my brother. Yeah, my brother gave me some questions. I didn't hear the final say some some things. But the actually say the fact that the top balance for one one thing was Okay, what did he do? Thanks so kindly. Let's do it right there. Uh, welcome. Let's hear you. What's your name? Okay, thanks so kindly. Uh, we'll hold you right there. Welcome, let's hear you. Yes, uh, good evening, you know. Mm.
I didn't really just start the last call that he said speaking against. It's unfortunate I, for people to just come and claim and say you're speaking against. They don't speak against legislative earmarks. No. They don't speak against uh, legislative projects. No. Uh, the other federal court in Madrid, he said initially 50% of the budget. The, uh, the kind of thing we're saying, the more people that people believe that you should be educating the public is sad. Because that uh, serious misinformation to say fifty percent of the body, even thirty percent, the legislature is unfortunate. The even say civil servant that I can you say what's being paid civil servant etc. Uh, uh, the law maker making more than no, it's unfortunate. Here is extremely extremely unfortunate. Up to today's date, people stay I in a law because making fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, we came on this registration and saying we we'll even make more than five thousand dollars. pay. So people people just misinform. The public to a greater extent. But okay, and by if, you, if, said, if you if somebody talk about the commission, if you are all, the all your little benefit, they said the commission. What Judas? That put the benefit together. I want to do quick calculation in two minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, 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 not no. two minutes. The time is almost. No, no. No, we can, we can do it on and You know what this government did? No, Judas. The government harmonized all the benefit in the one call salary now. That's what the government did. In the absence of this, they did here. We're discussing now. All the things used to get transportation allowance, for example. Consider, you know what the government did? The government harmonized it. Okay. So let's stop this benefit. The one year King said he gave benefit days that I had to correct him on air here. Okay, that was sorry. We're discussing. So somebody talk about the local government. He doesn't even know what the local governance act about. So take for example, uh, do we have chief down in district? Do we have uh, 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 statutory districts, for example, in district eight? What are you guys gonna get? You don't read. And you see the local government eye is being uh, killed or being destroyed. You don't even know what you're saying. Okay. Somebody talk about dual nationality. It's a recipe for this. It's unfortunate. I said this bill is a step towards dual nationality. It's meaning a citizenship bill that says that your citizenship is irrevocable. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not revoked. It, just, yeah, by, yeah, just, you just, being, by, just by you being an you go to American citizenship, you like when they say, oh, automatically. We say, okay. oh. That can never be, and that must never be the process. So somebody talking about you have you have over three hundred thousand more than that that don't live in my bureau, and you saying that look that all a shared jealousy and what okay. some people are against that brother the professionals that you talking about you go you you chair a Francis David you clapping for him, you are looking for Liberians professional players all around the world that have different country nationality they don't your country national thing Jesse they play for you you cheer them. So you want to tell me that you should file protest against brother that, that, that we, we, we have a Dutch citizen putting for us and that Liberia because of our law? Is that what we're saying? Okay. So no, no, no. We 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 are contradicting ourselves and they are contradicting Thanks themselves. Thanks so kind of and you know, some of the most some of the people who can call that the first one they be saying that the law because don't work. They okay. will say you don't deserve it. 
Thanks for coming. I'm not going to go for that too long. I'm not going to go for that too long. You're not going to go for that too long. That's how we go on this edition of World Game Conversation. So, folks, for the blog, thanks for watching KMTV. This is how we come to an end of the live broadcast. Goodbye for now.